these are Overwatch's most wanted features in no particular order. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa. And before we get stuck into this, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what your most wanted features are for the game. Okay, so this is kind of my list, but it is taken from the community as well. But a lot of this stuff, I think you guys will probably agree. So let's do this. Okay, so first up, six stack team queue, a proper competitive mode in that sense. Let us build a team. Let us go into competitive. This would solve a lot of problems that we have to deal with right now, where we go in solo queue, we go in triple stacks, duo queues, or whatever. We're often faced with problems. We're faced with team comps that don't work. We're matched with players that can't build teams. There's a whole host of issues. Now, of course, this could be a wider issue, and we could say, hey, where's role select and all that stuff? But that's a massive debate, and also, I think I've covered that probably quite a bit. But I would like to see a six-stack competitive team queue. Another thing I'd like to see is an in-game tournament system. This would be very similar to a six-stack competitive queue. However, if you look at Blizzard's other games, you look at StarCraft 2, they run weekly, I believe, competitions. And these competitions are handled inside of the game and they're relevant to the level that you're playing at. So if you are a diamond level player in Overwatch, you should be able to join the diamond competitive competitions and then play for tournament prizes. The prizes could be something as simple as Overwatch League tokens, or it could be special sprays. Maybe you get a certain spray for winning, let's say, the Diamond Weekly Tournament, and then the Master and the GM and the Top 500. I think that would be super, super cool. Now, the only caveat with all of this is I think this is extremely difficult to put into the game. To have a automated tournament system, which allows you to build teams together, submit teams, and it compare, well, matches you with other teams, is going to be very, very difficult. Then leading on from this is is a guild system. Now, I see the, the kind of the six stack, the tournament system and a guild system all being one sort of thing, right? Because if you've got a guild system or maybe possibly a watch point system that we call with Overwatch, you can get a pool of players together. You can say, hey, we need some tanks. We need some DPS. We need some support. We build a team. That's great. I think that is honestly the logical step. Uh, if we get that, that's going to be awesome. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the social updates, which are coming to Overwatch fairly soon. If it's a full-blown guild system, I will literally lose my mind. Hide hero history. Now, this is an interesting one, right? You go into competitive, you look at the people on your team, you lock in as, say, a uh, Hanzo, right? You look at the members of your team and you're like, okay, um, it looks like we don't actually have anybody who plays Reinhardt. So I'll come off a of Hanzo and I'll play Reinhardt. But here's the problem. Maybe you do have somebody who plays Reinhardt. Maybe they just haven't played it that much this season, or maybe they play on a different account, and we just don't know. Of course, the bigger issue with all of this is it pigeonholes you into one role. And I did this back in the very first season of Overwatch when we didn't even have Diamond, Masters, and Platinum, Gold, and Silver. The ranks were just numbers. It was a, it was a crazy dark time. Anyway, I, the reason why I got a second account there is because I almost exclusively only played Reinhardt. That was it. So whenever I went into a game, people would say, can you play Rein? But I wanted to play Soldier. I wanted to learn a DPS role. So I got another account and that was my way around it. But that's not really a way around it, is it, ladies and gentlemen? We shouldn't have to go out there and buy another account to hide our history. So it would be cool in the game if we could just hide our hi hero history and just be like, look, you don't know what I'm going to play, so that's cool. But then on the other hand, do you really want somebody who is a Reinhardt main trying out Soldier 76 for the first time in your competitive game? Mm, there's pros and cons for it. Faster balance correction. Now, in defense of Overwatch, we are seeing fast balance correction right now. There are some issues with Hanzo, uh, which I think we're probably going to get looked at. Obviously, in the past, we had the whole dilemma with Mercy when she was crazy. She was super strong. If you didn't have her on your team, you would basically lose. They are getting this faster. They're getting better at this. And also, Blizzard have always typically been quite fast, making minor updates and changes to Overwatch. There are some outlier cases, like the Mercy example. But I like to think that the devs are maybe taking their time. But sometimes... You know, I think it is a bit obvious. We're like, okay, this hero is really powerful. Like, you look at Hanzo right now, yeah, he feels really powerful. On the other hand, though, there is a bit of uh, merit in waiting. Like, just having a knee-jerk reaction going, no, this hero is terrible, let's get rid of him, could be a problem, right? So, I don't know, it is a difficult one, but personally, I would like to see faster balance correction, especially when things are so blatantly, obviously OP or possibly break the game. If they react really quick to that, that's awesome. Map, picks, and bans. I don't know about you guys, right? But I absolutely hate playing Assault in competitive. I hate it. The reason why I hate it is if the team doesn't work together, you just straight up lose. It is the most coordinated game mode you, you absolutely have to play. And right now in Season 10 competitive, if you are playing Hanzo and Zarya, which you probably should be almost all of the time on Assault, on attack and defense, um, you just charge those ultimates up. 
Zarya presses Q, you press Q, and hopefully they don't trans, and then they just die, right? That's the way it's played. But if you've got a Zarya that just wastes the Graviton Surge, or you've got a Hanzo that just wastes the Dragon Strike, or even if you've got other people who could combo together, like let's say a Tracer and a, a Zarya, for example, if they mess up their ultimates because there's just no communication, and let's be real, guys, there isn't really that much communication, is there? If that doesn't happen, it's so frustrating. And often, now this might just be me, and in this, I don't have any facts to back this up, but it feels like... Uh, when I go on losing streaks, it's always assault. I hate assault. It's like bashing my head against the wall. But again, this is a personal preference, right? I really like Payload. I like Hybrid. And I like King of the Hill. I would play those modes all the time. I just would never play assault. I do think assault is really fun to watch, though, uh, like on an Overwatch League level, because the teams are highly coordinated. But it is hella frustrating. Uh, I mean, you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But, you know, maybe you guys don't like King of the Hill. So you could just say, I don't want to play the King of the Hill maps. Or I don't want to play... Dorado for whatever reason, you know, I don't want to play Blizzard World, I don't want to play Oasis. That would be really cool. Of course, the other hand is maybe this would make the queues quite long. But I don't know about you guys, I generally get into a game within like two minutes, which is pretty damn quick. On a system. Now, what I want with this is I want to be able to say you are a great player. Right now in Overwatch, you can report people for a number of reasons. I want to commend people. I want to say, I really liked playing with this person because of A, great communication. B, great skill. C, awesome ability to flex. D, just, just a nice person in general, right? E, great at communication. I think I might have said that, but whatever. That's what I want to do because imagine if you get a lot of um, positive reports and then it starts putting you together with people who have also got positive reports. This game is at its absolute worst when you've got trolls on your team and people that just don't care. But it's at its absolute best when you're playing with people who are playing the role they want and they're playing as a team. You cannot beat this game. It is the best game in the world for that. It is just mind-blowingly good. So I really, really, really would like to see a honor system. I hope you guys agree. What about a surrender system then? This is another one, right? You know when things are going bad? You know it's completely gone bad. People are starting to troll. Why do we have to wait? five, ten minutes for the game to end, just to end the game. Now, I don't think we'll ever see this because this can be quite well, easily abused because you could like force people into surrendering. It kind of promotes an attitude of defeatism, like, oh, whatever, we can't win. Whereas, you know, we've all been there where you can actually recover from the brink of defeat. Thing is, though, uh, I, I think this is just wishful thinking off me where I'm like, well, I think we should surrender now. Um, please, guys, let's surrender. But it wouldn't be used like that. And maybe I'd be wrong as well. So while this might be a heavily requested feature, I don't know whether it would work out too well. More detailed stats. I want detailed stats in the game. Now, the reason why they're not there is because they don't want to promote toxicity. The fact is, though, you can tell if a DPS on your team isn't playing very well. What I'd like to see is Overwatch League-style stats. Now, in Overwatch League, they can directly compare kills, damage, like, well, elimination, damage, uh, deaths, all of this stuff, accuracy, headshots, whatever, all of this directly with everybody. So you can take a Widowmaker player, and the enemy's widow make a player, and then you can see who's the best. That is really damn good. I would like to see those kind of detailed stats in Overwatch easily accessible. I would like to see a more detailed score screen as well, because I want to know what's going on. I want to know if our widow is destroying the enemy widow in the game, because if that's happening, our widow's going to play better. Yes, the enemy widow might start to get flamed, but then at that point, they should probably think about swapping. But like you can argue that, yes, we've got the gold medal system, and yes, you can tell if people are playing really quite bad, so maybe you don't need the stats. But I think, personally, I'd love to see them. And it kind of makes me a bit sad, because I've seen the stat systems um, at Overwatch League, and they're fantastic. Like There's so much information. It'd be great if we could get that into the, just, the, the normal player base. It'd be awesome. A full-blown replay system. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my most requested feature. I guess you could probably put it up there with like a guild system, um, but this is something that I really, really want. Now, I've had the pleasure or the privilege of seeing the way Overwatch League functions behind the scenes. Now, I'm not saying this is perfect and this is good for like, public consumption, but it's got amazing tools. Like, they can effectively rewind the game. They can um, create slow motion replays. They can fly around with the It's It's just insane. What I would like to see is a system in this game which encompasses this. It lets us save our matches and we can load our matches in and then fly around, take control of people actually in the game, whether that's enemy plays or you, like maybe you could play out a different moment in the game in a different way to see if that works. But more importantly, it would let you watch yourself play, critique yourself without the need of having to record with something like Shadowplay or record on your PS4 or your Xbox One 
um, because you only get your point of view, right? You can't actually fly around the map. You can't see extra things going on. You can't think, well, what's going on here? Maybe I can check this out. I used to play a lot of StarCraft 2 years and years ago, and that had a replay system in. So I would really love it if Blizzard implemented that same type of system into Overwatch, where what it basically did is it generates a really small file that's not very big, and you can share this with your friends. They can put it into their game, load it straight in, and they can see the match. That, that to me, would be mind-blowing. But guess what as well, guys? I really would like some sort of let's call it like a cinema system, uh, a machinima system inside all of this. I would like to be able to record a game and then play, rewind the game. You slow-mo at any point. I'd love to be able to um, create videos inside the game. I'd love it if I could. I mean, there's a green screen, right, in um, Hollywood in one of the spawns. I'd love it if I could pose heroes in certain positions, take screenshots of them, use them for thumbnails. That, to me, would be amazing. But think of the fan created content that could be made with this stuff. It would be awesome. Look at the play of the game system. That is a brilliant system because what it does is it lets you show off your play of the game. If you do something crazy, generally it captures that. Then you can throw that on Reddit, you can share it with your friends on Facebook, whatever. That's awesome. But taking that to the next level would be allowing you to directly create content in the game. Fortnite allows you to do this, and I'd love it if Overwatch did this. To me, it seems like an absolute no-brainer. And yes, I am a content creator. That's probably why a full-blown replay system with an editor, with slow-mo systems and everything is like my number one requested thing and also probably guilds as well ladies and gentlemen and, and six stack competitive and and um in-game tournament system and and faster balance correction anyway ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below what are your most wanted overwatch features hit me with it all right guys i've been stylosa like the video subscribe to the channel and remember if you want to get the videos all the time make sure when you sub you click the bell and even if you are subbed unsub and resub because I think sub feeds are totally broke and click that bell because it will supposedly tell you when videos go live. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.